tricks I rep the water bearer sign But all the elements live in free in my mind People get mad at me when I talk. They be hating. And I understand why. Cause I'ma keep it 100, uh. Cause I look you in your eyes. I tell you truth with no lies. I'ma keep it 100. Got something to say. I look you in your face. Then I put you in your place. I'ma keep it 100, uh. I'm not an OJ's backstabber. Just a realistic and I'm a facts grabber. Oh, I see the fear in the people's eyes. That's why I'm breaking down the signs on this genocide. The Listen, they claiming black lives matter, right? You 
you want everything handed to you I swear to God I'm not really understanding the youth They got it good but won't step it in your parents too I tell them Negro, you really need to check your ego Cause your unwillingness to do it, destroying our people You see I'm keeping it real, it ain't about the fame That's why I'm killing the game, cause I'ma keep the point Honey on, cause I look you in your eyes As I tell you truth with no lies I'ma keep it point, honey on, cause I'm a boss If I talk, I'ma rock real talk I'ma keep it point, honey on, cause I look you in your eyes Conversations, debates, and advice that keep you turned up. It's the High Powered Podcast. Lit conversations, debates, and advice that keep you turned up. technical challenges 
uh, well, I know it's a it's a Tuesday, and I don't normally go live on Tuesday, but because I'm gonna be out of town this week, uh, I decided, and I'm not gonna be doing a live Friday and Saturday. I decided to go ahead and do one today. Okay, so what's the deal? What's the deal? We are elevating beyond um, the limitations, right? Um, I, as I've said over the as I've said over the years, decentralization of men is the first step. It's not the end all be all. And a lot of women are having issues at the decentralization point. They're having a hard time decentering. And they're having a hard time seeing the overall picture. And what I've come to see is that a lot of women would rather be victims. They don't, they don't actually want power. I think a lot of, um, I think a lot of women desire to just, I think they just desire to get their ego stroked. That's really all it is. They don't really want a better life. They say they want a better life, but they really don't. They want things to be the way they dream they could be. And that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate because that's just not the way it is. I see people complaining about, I don't hear what you guys hear. I don't, I don't hear what you guys hear, and uh, unfortunately, I can't fix it if I can't hear what you hear. Is it, is it bad enough for me to end the live? All right. If it's not, then I'm just going to have to ask y'all to endure. I don't know what y'all hearing, but y'all need to let me know if it's too bad where I need to end the live. Alright, well, endure. Um, I'm going to have to cut the comments off because the comments will probably uh, distract me from what I'm saying uh, because people people are, I sent, got me a couple text messages telling me about the mic, but I can't, I don't hear what you guys hear. Um, thank you all for the compliments. Um, the thing, the thing is, is that I'm actually a little disappointed in women. Mm, not just a little, probably a great deal, actually. Um, because the onus is on women. For the world to be a better place, the onus is on women. And women do not like that reality. Unfortunately, the changes cannot happen when women are vibrating at low frequencies. They just can't. They just can't. 
And when people don't empower themselves, I don't think even, I don't I really don't even think that people understand what it means to be empowered. The root word for empower is power. And the woman is actually just like the male that she complains about. The woman is exactly like the male that she complains about. She wants images just like the male. See, the male wants to be called the head of the household, but he doesn't want the responsibilities that come with it. He just wants the title. When you boil things down, it is the same with women. They just want to be called queens. They don't actually want to be queens. <laughs> they want to be called goddesses, but they don't actually want to be it. Let me ask you this question. Because I gotta, sometimes I have to make things very, very, very simple for you to understand. Okay. I'm going to put a picture on the board. It's going to be a real simple picture. It's going to be real simple. Give me a second to grab a screenshot of this. I don't even have to grab a screenshot because I can just use my I can just use my thumbnail that I just created. You can use the thumbnail. So this is today's thumbnail right here. And these are two batteries. One red and one green. The red is on empty. And the green is on full. Which one do you expect to put out the most? Which one do you expect to charge the phone? Do you expect the empty battery to do it or do you expect the full battery to do it? And these are questions that are not rhetorical and they are um, they require a response, so I will wait for you all to respond. Do you expect the empty battery to do the charging, or do you expect the full battery to do the charge? Which one do you think has power? Which battery has more power, the red one or the green one? So to empower somebody is to charge them up so that they can take responsibility. To empower someone is to charge them up so that they can take responsibility and they will hold the most weight. It would be different if women were not being empowered. But women are being empowered. But even with the energy going into them to be empowered, they still do not want to hold the weight. Women are still confused and they can't seem to connect the dots even when the dots are being connected for them. Even when the dots are being connected for them, it's like the dots are still not connecting in their brains. There's a level of chaos on the planet that women participate in and I'm going to bring out my little board again and of course I'm going to bring out my board again um, I 
what's going on here. I really don't understand what's going on here. Why is this in the back? This is crazy. Blank. And give me the camera. There we go. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to show you something here. Now, I'm going to build on top of what I already showed you. Women are finding it very difficult to grasp this. Remember, I told you that 90% of this circle, 90 to 95% of this circle belongs to the XX side of this, right? Right? And 10%, 5% to 10% belongs to XY. Risk management. Right, which is leadership, all belongs to the woman. The part that women have not seen to connect the dots with, why it is so critical, so critical for women to understand why decentralization of men was the initial step and while you have to understand that men are incapable of love and you have to fix your relationships with women is because, like I told you, the sperm is this size. The power cord is this size. All representing the male, it's the same, right? Same size. The egg is this big, right? And the phone and computers are this big, right? The feminine side does the majority of the work. Well, why is this critical? I, because we're going to build on top of this. Why is this critical? Because this is the divine ratio this is the divine ratio of masculine to feminine. This is the divine ratio. So what, what am I saying with this being the divine ratio? That for every nine women... There should be one male. For every nine women, there should be one male. Now, why is this critical? Because women are complaining about men being too physically strong. Well, you are at a disadvantage if you're talking about one-to-one. -one. If you're talking about one XX to one XY, then you got a problem. If you're talking about one XX to one XY, then you got a problem. But if you're talking about nine XXs to one XY, you got a bigger advantage. Women have to work together, but they don't want to. Women don't want power. They want to chase after men. They want to force men to be something that they not. The divine ratio is nine to one. There is no equality. It's equity. It's equity. So, 
Where do you see this at? You need proof in, in, in the wild. Well, it's real simple. Look at a lion pride. What do you see? See, y'all get caught up in polygyny. You get caught up in polygyny under male rule. You caught, on, you caught up under the idea that you are giving males a bunch of sex and that they get to parade around with a bunch of women. You're not looking at the power of women controlling the situation. See, you only have an, you have patriarchy, patriarchal polygyny. You have patriarchal polygyny. And matriarchal polygyny. Patriarchal polygyny is the male being able to choose based on his deficiencies and desires. Matriarchal polygyny is about divine ratio. It's about the divine ratio. The work that you, the, 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 the support that you looking for, that you begging a man for, is supposed to be done with other women. Nine to one, X, Y, X, X. You need help with cooking, cleaning, children, or child rearing, right? Building. All that, who you think supposed to help you with that? The nine to one, the nine, the nine. But you've been convinced you have been convinced to abandon women, to f fight women, compete with women, And believe in the nuclear family. The nuclear family destroys divine ratio. In an atom, and what in the hell is going on with all my stuff today, man? It's just, is it a Mercury retrograde going on right now? Because this is crazy. I don't know what happened to, to, to my thing. Let me just a second. Okay. Okay. All right. So, like I'm saying here. Okay, look. You've been convinced to give up. You've been convinced to do the nuclear family thing. Nuclear family makes a one to one ratio. XX with one XY. 
the XY is physically stronger. I have said a million times, a single woman is not a single woman because she doesn't have a man. A single woman is a single one woman because she don't have a community of women. So the reason why you're scared and you feel like this ain't going to work, it's because you still believe in the one to one ratio. You still believe in the one to one ratio. All these women believe that they can have that every woman supposed to have one man. You are believing in something. You are believing in something that's not divinely correct. There's one nucleus. Right? And then you have protons, neutrons, electrons. I like to call the electrons the feminine, right? I like to call the electrons the feminine. You need to understand that the one-to-one -one thing ain't it. Y'all out here thinking that polygyny is about sex. You think it's about sex and sharing a Peter Wacker. This is about your protection, sweetie. Because even if you have a physically stronger male, if it's nine of y'all who have. If it's nine of you who have knowledge. Wisdom. Understanding. Who are truly sisters who are not male identified. Do you think this man can stand a chance against nine women? Do you really think that this one male could stand a chance against nine women? Nuclear family destroys the divine ratio. Because some of y'all still want men around. The ratio of men to women is not one to one. I have shown you again. I have shown you again. This is ten percent of the equation. Five to ten percent. X X is ninety percent. This is the divine ratio of masculine to feminine. There only needs to be a little masculinity, not much. And this applies to everything. 10% talent, 90% business. The music industry ran on 90% business, 10% talent. Knowledge, wisdom, wisdom. 
and understanding is 90% of successful existence, which is a feminine, which are feminine character traits. The reason why people are having a problem is because of the one to one ratio. You believe in equality. There is no equality. There is no equality. Women are never going to get this if they continue to try to exist like the male. Women want to be empowered, but they don't want to do nothing. They want you to charge them up, but then they don't want to feel, they don't, they don't want to hold no responsibility of fueling the phone. Women want to be charged up, but they don't want to be charged up. Women want to charge their egos. Women want their egos charged. They still want to chase men. They want to claim divine, but they don't want to exist in the frequency of the divine. They don't want to exist in understanding. They don't want to exist in love. They don't want to exist in wisdom. Divinity and knowledge. These things don't hurt you. These things don't hurt you. They rise you above the lower levels of hell. When you truly exist up here, can't nothing hurt you. Women think that it can, though, because they don't understand this. So women don't get along with other women, but they think that they got a shot in this world for some reason. You running around here in fear because you still competing with other women. You still mad. You still angry. And what do you do when you're being empowered? You're doing nothing. You're doing nothing. It's a it's an utter disappointment because the women enjoy chaos. These women absolutely enjoy chaos let's 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 look at let's look at what women like and what men like and let me show you that these women are exactly like them the women think that they're different but remember like attracts like women think that they're different but they are exactly like the men that they complain about Women, men, if you say men are incapable of love, what will they do? Not all men. Not all men. If you tell a boy mom, if you say boy moms are toxic and are the number one supporters of patriarchy, What would they tell you? Not all boy moms. These two places are ego. Two places of ego. The male want someone
to fill his co-dependent voids. He needs somebody to cook for him, give him sex, right? All of these things that he's missing. And the woman needs the same thing. She's looking for a man to fill her codependent needs of love and romance. So they both operate in a transactional relationship trying to get their needs out of each other. Just like the woman is just the man. She's just like the men she complains about. The men use manipulation to get these codependent needs met. And so does the woman. What are they both complaining about? What are they both complaining about? They are both complaining about losing the game. Both of them are complaining about losing the game. She want him. They both pointing the finger at each other. They both pointing the finger at each other. Amaya, I'll do that afterwards. I'm not going to be on long. Okay. Go ahead. All right. They just like him. Let's continue. The male builds his relationships off of sex, and the woman does too. Builds relationship on sex and sexual attraction. Women do the exact same thing. And they are both complaining because one of them are losing at the game. As long as they are winning, they are not complaining. But when they start losing, playing this game with each other, then they're complaining. The woman does not actually want to take responsibility. She actually don't want power. She wants him to do what she want him to do. She wants him to do what she wants him to do. And he wants her to do what he wants her to do. They're the same people. They, the, they are the exact same people trying to get a one-up on each other. And when they don't, they complain. The women don't want to opt out of the game and actually make the world a better place. They want to complain and they want men to worship them. They want men to worship them. With more power, more is expected. Why is there so much expected out of women? Because women have always been 
the power source. Men have only had the illusion of power. And by women being disconnected and playing the one-to-one ratio game, women have diluted their own physical power. Women have diluted their own physical power by believing in the one-to-one. So you birth a bunch of males on the planet. You birth them, which are physically stronger than you. And then you abandon your girl networks. And you stay single and solo. And then you wonder why you're losing. You stay single and solo, and then you wonder why you're losing. And we got 648 people in. Can we get the likes up? If you try to show women where they are wrong... They get mad. If you try to show women where they're wrong, they get mad. But then they talk about they want a better place. No, they don't. Women do not want to do better. They want to keep doing what they want to do and get praised for it. They want to point the finger. But basically what you're saying is that You're powerless, powerless. You don't expect powerless people to do anything, just like you don't expect the empty battery to charge anything. You don't expect the empty battery to charge anything. Well, why are women any if a woman is claiming to be an empty battery? Why is she empty? Empty? If she's claiming to be an empty battery, why is she empty? Because she keep letting energy vampires suck her life force energy. She keep attaching herself to males. She keeps birth and children. With no support system. She keeps allowing men To live rent free. In her head. And all it is. She got control over. This woman got control over all it is. But because she's a slave. To fear. Sex. Fantasies. She keep creating her own problem. She don't want to let the man go. She don't want to let the thought of him go. She don't want to let the physical aspect of him go. She don't want to let the mediocre sex go. And if she don't want to do that, then the world ain't never going to change, baby. world ain't never going to change because... 90% of it depends on women. Women hold 90% of the... Women hold 90% of the circle. So if you can't get along with women, you'll never move back up to this divine ratio. If you can't get along with women... You will not get back to this divine ratio. The divine ratio is about protection, community, 
right? Leadership, support. But you so caught up in the lowest nature and thinking about sex. Let me tell you something. Stop counting other people's pockets. Stop counting other people's money. You worried about sex when you should be worried about that. But now what has occurred, because if women were operating in knowledge, wisdom, understanding, with a matriarchal structure, the male would not be able to overthrow you. But what women have created, this is what women have created instead. They got one XX with a one XY and a nine XX four XY. Which means you got 10 against 1. You have created a 10 against 1 situation. Basically a XY to 1XX. This is what you've created. And this is why you're losing. That's like X or Y, XX. Mm-hmm. In a patriarchy... Where women are male identified, you have created a 10 to 1 ratio. And y'all wonder why you're losing. Mama, I did. And that's why you're mad. That's why you're angry. Because you ain't got no support. Mama, I did it. Women, men only have the power that women give them. And y'all give men all the power. Women ain't got no common sense. Y'all, y'all, some of y'all steady hollering at these women. These women are, they just like the men. They have an inability to grasp basic concepts. The woman that y'all keep having to holler at and talk. These women are just as EU as the men that they're complaining about. They just like them. EU. Even if you draw a picture, they still can't get it. And you want to know why I'm, you want to know what I'm disappointed in the most? My biggest disappointment is believing that the woman was less EU. That all you had to do was educate the woman and she could rise. Nope, even if you're educator, she act just like the male she complained about, EU. You, it don't, nothing makes sense to them, not even pictures. You ask them questions, simple questions, who is, who is most at risk for sex? XX is most at risk, and she's still complaining and pointing the finger at him. Men don't have any biological costs to sex. They don't have a biological cost to sex. Child support is artificial. 
There is no child support in nature. There is no child support in nature. So the what you're what what the women are relying on is an artificial consequence for a zero cost biological build in. The male is not concerned about an artificial consequence like child support. That does not, there is a zero net, there is a zero biological net. Even with this, the EU women still can't get it. It ain't the male responsibility to protect you from something that you don't want to happen in your life. You the one that's going to suffer the most for not doing risk management. You're the one that's going to suffer from the most for not thinking about worst case scenario. You are. But you want the male to protect you from your choices. You want the male to protect you from your choices. Even with showing this. The EU woman can't get it. Because she want to do what she want to do. And evade the consequences just like her male counterpart. Both of them want to do what they want to do and then get mad at the consequences that are built in. Sex has a built in consequence. You want to engage in it, but you don't want to accept the consequences of that. If you don't want to do it, then if you don't want the consequences, then don't do it. You have a biologically wired in consequence. The male does not. Amaya, why are you playing with my toothbrush? Give it here. The male has zero biological consequences. So let's look at this. X, 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 Y. Who, who 100% carries the baby? Who carries the baby? Amaya, close the door. Who carries the baby? The one. She carries the baby. There is a 0% chance that he's going to carry a baby. I mean, this is basic. This is basic common sense. There is a 0% investment costs for males who is prone to catching VD if you take one dude and let him sleep With three or four women, he has a much lower risk of catching an STD than a woman who sleep with that one man one time. And do you think men even care about catching STDs? No, they don't. They don't even wash themselves a lot of the time.
So the last thing they really even care about is catching the STD. As long as they got the cookies. So. That's your concern. Who is going to be held? Who is going to have to put in the most work for child rearing? You. Who body get messed up from sex and getting pregnant? Yours. But somehow you want the male he don't, his body don't get messed up. He don't have to take care of children. It's all reward for him. All reward. Ninety six percent of men. Always orgasm from six. Only 65% of hit women ever orgasm. Or like what's his name? Say gasms. What, it, what, uh, uh, Smokey Robinson, gasm. This sucker, 87 years old, still talking about orgasms. They got a lot of audacity. It's all reward for them. It's all reward for them. And even when you show women this, they still act EU. They still want to point the finger at the male. Why are you pointing the finger at the male? Tell me. The responsibility is on you. The responsibility is on you. Why are you trying to pass off your responsibility onto the male who's 10% of the equation? He only 10% of the equation. I want you to give me a legitimate reason why this is not your responsibility. Because, baby, you're not forced into marriage. As of right now, as long and until more laws are passed, as of right now, you are not obligated to do none of this. You are not obligated to do any of this. Nobody's forcing you to be married. You can have your career. Nobody's forcing you to be in a relationship with men. Nobody's forcing you to just give up sex because the man wants it. Why do you think that this is somebody else's responsibility? I want a legitimate answer. Because the women act in real EU. Like I said, decentering men was the first step. Why was decentering men the first step? Because once you decenter men, you ain't feeling like you obligated into none of this. Once you decenter men and stop centering yourself around a, a, a person who has zero biological responsibility. The male has a zero percent biological responsibility. But you center in your life around this. 
When you think it's 50-50, the reason why you think it's 50-50 or one-to-one because you're looking at bodies. One body to one female body to one male body. You've been deceived. You looking at a vessel, but you're not looking deep within. You looking at the surface. That's why you think it's one to one. It ain't one to one. It ain't one to one. I want a legitimate reason for all the women who got something to say. I want you to give me. A legitimate reason why you pointing the finger at a male when ain't nobody making you get married. Ain't nobody making you be with men. Nobody's making you open your legs. And you don't you don't have a luxury of if you've been watching my channel for at least three months. If you've been here for longer than a year, you don't get to say Cause you don't know better. I didn't gave you all the information about men and you do know better. So after you done learned all of this, I want a legitimate reason why you still pointing the finger at men. Cause these are facts. You know why the woman don't want to acknowledge why she attracted to men. She don't want to acknowledge her own codependency. She don't want to acknowledge her desperation for validation because that's the truth of the matter. How women getting stuck with STDs, babies, hmm? how they getting stuck with it. They not get no sexual gratification. Hold on. Let's see. Give me a second. I just found that. Got this doctor here. Go on. Okay. Let me let me pull this doctor up real quick. All right, let's go to my iPhone. Some women have difficulty having orgasms during sex. There's a biological reason for this. Sexual intercourse was invented for men to have orgasms. I'm a woman's doctor, so I don't mean to offend, but if you think about it biologically, reproduction requires that the man has to orgasm for sperm to reach the egg. A woman having an orgasm is not biologically necessary for reproduction. Many women require a different type of stimulation than she can receive from sexual intercourse. I often recommend a personal massager or vibrator so a woman can get adequate stimulation on her clitoris. Some women feel that it's taboo or wrong to use a sex toy to stimulate her to have an orgasm, but actually being orgasmic is really important to your health. And when you can trigger the orgasm system, your body will be more responsive. In a loving relationship, your partner wants you to enjoy sex. And this is something I recommend as a gynecologist so that you can experience and understand what your body needs in order to fully respond sexually. Some women have difficulty having orgasms during sex. There's a biological reason for this. Sexual intercourse was invented for men to have orgasms. I'm a woman. This ain't for you. It's not for you. But you sitting up here doing it. You sitting up here going to doctors trying to figure out why you can't orgasm on penetration. But you got a bunch of babies and you up here faking. And then there's a study that show that men don't feel masculine if a woman got to use a toy. Well, ain't that something? 
Men don't like doing things that don't make them feel masculine. And one of the things that don't make them feel masculine is a woman using a sex toy. So, the fact of the matter is, ladies, you need to give me a legitimate reason why you are pointing the finger at men. Because, see, we didn't already, we didn't done the, we didn't, we didn't done the dissenter in men part. Now it's time for responsibility. Now it's time for responsibility. Right? The responsibility on you. Why you still laying down with men and then pointing the finger at them? Sex is for them. Orgasms. Pin it. Gasm. Pin it gasm is for the XY. Not for you. They don't carry babies. They don't have to stick around. They don't even care about STDs because most of them were, were created anyway. Child support is artificial. That's why men, men want nature. They want to be able to exist fully in their nature. But if they exist fully in their nature, most of them won't get no woman. But as long as the woman is still Delulu and desperate, they'll have as much access as they want. As long as the woman is still Delulu and desperate, the male will get as much access as he wants. Because she don't want to take responsibility. She wants to wait on a male who naturally, this is by nature, baby. Has no consequence. Nature does not give a male consequences for sex. All of the consequences are artificial in the matrix. And the Lulu desperate women are not using their power to create consequences for men. These Delulu desperate women are not creating consequences based on their biological power for men. She give it in to the man. So this woman is waiting on a male who by nature has no consequences. She waiting on him to take responsibility. She waiting on him to take responsibility. Responsibility for what? Exactly. Responsibility for what exactly? You want him to take responsibility for getting you pregnant? Let me ask you this question. Some of y'all, some of you, Give some of you have sex with men because you put yourself in a situation where you were scared to say no.
Some of you let a man coerce you into sex because let's say you went, you went, you went to his house or you invited him to your house and it's just you and him. And he keep pressuring you for sex and you just give in because you tired of him asking or you scared he going to do something to you. You have sex because of that and you get caught up. Well, if you've been listening to me and you understand the nature of men right now, you should ch- that should that shouldn't happen no more because you shouldn't be going out with men by yourself. You shouldn't be going to no man house. See, knowing who men are, now you understand why they asked the question, what you was doing over there. Now that you know who men are based on what I've been teaching you for two years, now you understand why men ask you what you was doing over there. Because they're telling you what they're about. And if you entertain them, then that means you must be open to it. That's their logic. What you want to hold them accountable for? What are you wanting to hold them accountable for? Because they have no biological consequences. Males have no biological consequence. So you're trying to, what y'all trying to do is put sociology over biology. And guess who created biology? God created biology. Man created sociology. So y'all trying to use man's rules over God's rules. You trying to use, you trying to fight God's rules with man's rules. And for some reason, you think you're going to win. You think you're going to win. But you ain't going to win. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Because the natural order is biology, psychology, sociology. That's the correct order. That come first, baby. That come first. So why are you trying to take sociology and fight God's rules? What do you want to hold the male accountable for while you sitting up here waiting on a naturally irresponsible male to lead you. Why are you sitting up here waiting on a naturally irresponsible male to lead you and take all the responsibility? Biology affords him zero consequences. So, call me if you got a problem. Call me, ladies, if you have a problem with this. Because if you do have a problem with this, you just don't like the truth. See, if you stuck at all of the information on the descent to men part and you can't step up to this part, if you can't, if you can't transition from the decentralization conversations to this it's because you want your ego stroke you just want to point the finger you want to sit up here and say hear how bad men are and how eu men are but you don't want to look in the mirror you cool with staying with content 
that continue to look at the other side, but you want to you want to break the mirror when the mirror is put in front of your face. You know, that's just like men. You know, that's exact same behavior as the men that you complain about. Though they don't want the mirror in their face and you don't either. They don't want the mirror in their face and you don't either. But you want a better, you want them to do better, but you don't want to do better. I want to know exactly what you want to hold men accountable for. Because nobody is forcing you to marry. Nobody's forcing you to carry. At least not right now unless you live in Iowa or somewhere. Or Texas. But there is a natural, there is a built-in consequence to sex and that consequence is heavy it's heavy on xx on xx yes it's heavy on xx it's heavy on xx yes <laughs> you gotta you 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 gotta be a leader it's all on you mama say it's all on me it's all on me. It's all on me. So you get to make the rules. Say, I get to make the rules. I can make the rules. Absolutely. And, the, and, and guess what? Guess what? You pay the cost to be the boss. Because it pay the be cost boss. to be the boss. Who pay the highest cost? Who pay the highest cost? The cost to be the boss. Who pays the highest cost? Men don't pay nothing. Look. <laughs> Men don't pay nothing. Men are not the boss. The woman has the highest biological cost, which means that she's the natural boss, but she don't want to be the boss. She want to be a slave. She want to be a concubine. But she's sitting on a high power podcast, though, listening to the queen maker. And then getting mad when it's time to level up and be a queen. Anyway, sir. Then getting mad... When it's time to level up and be a queen. Mama, it's an eraser. Yeah, it's an eraser, baby. It's a the woman pays the cost to be the boss, but she don't want to be the boss because it's too much responsibility. And she wants to point the finger at the male who pays zero biological cost, which makes him naturally irresponsible in a social environment. How you take... How you take a male out of the wild who has zero cost now and then put him in a patriarchy and tell him to be responsible. Hmm. You put black women on the bottom, which upholds the male right here. She upholding everything. But the first person that's on top of her is the black male. You take him. With his zero cost EU ass and put him on top of the mail so she's actually supporting him and doing all the work. He taking all the credit, but she waiting on him to do this work. She waiting on him to do this because she don't realize he EU and naturally irresponsible even though she doing all the work and he ain't helping her. She still can't see it though. Even though she's doing all the work and he ain't, she still can't see that he naturally EU and she's still male-centered anyway. She's still male-identified. She still prefer sons over daughters while complaining at the same time. She is... She is EU too. EU too? Yes. Say E-U. E-U. No, say it in the mic. Tell them E-U. E-U. Say girl. Say girl. You E-U. You're E-U. She is. She is. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Amaya, please don't be E-U. Please don't be E-U. I'm begging you. I'm going to make sure you're not E-U. Okay? I love you. (laughs) Yeah. 
Your face is so hot. It's so hot. Maybe because they making me mad. <laughs> yeah. You're this, this, up. This, I'm burning up. What you going to do? Yep. You going to take care of me? Yeah. <laughs> I see what's here. It's good you bring it that way. Even with me drawing this, it don't make no sense. That's because any woman that this don't make sense to, it is simply because she is either a slave by nature Mama, my or way? concubine. And neither one of these are designed to be queens. Neither one of these, neither one of these women are designed to be queens. Mama? You can't turn a you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, okay? Mommy. Mommy, yes, ma'am. Can I spell my name? Can I spell your name? Here, why don't you write your name? Uh huh. You running out of room. Here, right bigger. Oh. Hmm. What's your name? Why are you writing so big? Now, I didn't give you all this room and somehow you still run out of room. Okay. You did a good job. Okay. Hold on, baby. Let me finish doing this, okay? You can write on this after I'm done because I'm going to get ready to take phone calls in a, <laughs> in a few minutes, okay? I'm waiting. Yeah, because, I mean, it don't get no it don't get no more plain, plain than this, okay? I spell my name. She, she did spell her name. It was really good. Okay, so um, I just... I'm so disappointed in women because I had so much, I, I believed so much greater in women. And these women want me to have compassion for them the same way I got compassion for men. And she, they, the woman don't realize that I got compassion for men because number one, number one, XYs are naturally... E U. They naturally E U handicapped. E U handicapped. They are handicapped. A handicap. And they live in a world. In the world. I'm out here. Stop world? copying me, please. Stop repeating me. Are you copying me? You girl, get out. Get out. Get out. 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 Because I. <laughs> get out. 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 Yeah. Go. 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 Yeah. Go. 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 All right. <laughs> okay, so the male is naturally EU. He handicapped. And he is in, he is, his handicapped ass been put in an environment that he cannot adapt to. Making him extremely desperate. And number three, there is no helping him. He can't help himself. He cannot help himself. So he is eternally doomed. He is doomed. My compassion for males is too bad, so sad. Because I can't help you either.
there's no helping the male. He's handicapped, he can't adapt, and there is no evolution for the majority of them. So they just going to end up suffering. The woman wants me to have the same level of compassion for her. In other words, she want me to think she eat you too and can't be helped either. That, 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 that's what she want me to think. If she want me to have this kind of compassion for her, basically she want me to think that she eat you too. And they, a lot of these women have showed me that they absolutely are EU. And not only are they EU, that they are relegated to slavery. And some of them are concubines. Right? So for these women, I do have compassion for them the same way I have for men. Ain't no helping them. Ain't no helping them. And they were cursed they were cursed to be eternal slaves and concubines that have no choice but to suffer because they can't help themselves either. They can't help themselves either. So they just she, she right along with the male. She right along with the male. For the other women, my compassion lead me to help them. My compassion for women leads me to teach them, educate them, right? And pull them up and empower them so that they can live wonderful lives. That's what my compassion do for the other women, right? Most of these women who got mad wanted me to see them as EU too. And I was wrong for not seeing them as EU. I was wrong for not seeing them as EU. I was wrong for thinking that they could do better. I was wrong for thinking that they had the capacity to understand basic concepts. I was wrong for thinking that they were smarter and more capable of reaching a level of divinity in their mind. I was wrong. I should have I should have looked at them as EU too. Cuz that's what they wanted me to that's that's what they want. How many of y'all how many of y'all ladies that's on here want me to have compassion for you at the same degree that I got for the man? In other words, how many of you want me to look at you as EU? How many of you want me to think that you are biologically and neurologically handicapped and can't do, you can't change? How many of you want me to think that you can't do better? Because I'm going to have compassion for a person that's a paraplegic, paraplegic, and then we put them in a job where they have to run every day right and do things at a certain time right knowing that they physically incapable of doing that but we putting all the pressure on them to do it and they keep failing well they're failing because they are they are wheelchair bound and they can only move they can only move they upper torso in their head they can't walk Maybe if you didn't put them in a job that required them to walk and run, maybe they could do better. Why y'all want me to look why you why you want me to look at you as socially, biologically and neurologically handicapped? Why you want me to see you like that? Why don't you want me to see you as capable of doing much better? Than the male is capable of. Why, why you don't want me to see you like that? Why you want me to pity you? Right? Why do you want me to pity you? Because you got the power. Women have the power. And if if you wasn't, if you didn't hate women, if you didn't hate yourself so much, you wouldn't hate other women as much as you do, and you could get back to the divine ratio of nine to one. 
you could get back to the divine ratio of nine to one. For every male, there should be nine women. Not because you're trying to give the you trying to give men sex and stroke his ego. His ego gonna be stroked regardless. But that stop counting other people's pockets. Stop worrying about if he get his ego stroked because you around him. You should be concerned about the power dynamics of nine women with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to one male who just got some physicality about himself. What is a physically strong male going to do against nine wise women? What would a physically strong male, one physically strong male do against nine wise women who are on the same page with each other? What he going to do? What would a male do that's strong and fit with nine male identified women? Uh, cause some damage. Cause some damage. Y'all ain't using y'all's brain. And it's like no matter how simple I make this, some of y'all still want to make it hard because you still want to have sex. Because that's the, that's the reason why you got problem with what I'm saying. Because you still want to have sex. You still got your mind wrapped around men. You still caught up in this thing that men need to be responsible and take responsibility. Instead of you realizing that he e you and can't do it. You don't want to look at the male as socially biologically and neurologically handicapped you refuse to see him like that even though I done showed you that he is I done showed you that the male is biologically neurologically and socially handicapped he's EU and now I just showed you three times that the male has zero biological cost to sex there is no risk for sex with the male. You pay the cost to be the boss. Women have the highest biological cost, which makes her the boss. But you still sitting up here waiting on an EU, biologically, neurologically, sociologically handicapped male to take responsibility who got zero biological cost to six. And you still, that's the reason why you're still mad, ladies. That's why you're still mad. Because you still fighting this belief that the male supposed to take re responsibility. You still believe that. Stop believing that. And guess what? If you stop believing it and if you stop rewarding males with opening your legs, guess what would happen? You would be less angry. If you would see the male for who he is and not and not an equal, not the equal that you think he is. If you would see the male for who he is and not what you want to believe he is, it would make you less angry. It would make you more inclined to build your relationships with other women. Nine to one is the divine ratio. Ain't no equality. Why you still believe in equality after I done showed you it ain't none. Why are women mourning? You should be celebrating. This is what I'm talking about. 
Women want to look at the cup half half full. What you mourning for? You should be excited because you just been shown your power. Where you always thought you didn't have none. Which is the reason why you've been suffering because you didn't believe you had no power. I just woke you up and showed you that you do have the power and you're still mourning. What you mourning for? Celebrate. It's a pro and a con to everything. So, yeah, you've been lied to. Now you know the truth that the power is within you and you crying? And you're wallowing in misery when you can wake up and, and start operating in your power. Why are you mourning? You can mourn for a day or two and realize, oh shit, I got it now. Are you mourning the decisions that you made before? I can understand you mourning and being trapped if your if, if if your beliefs, if the decisions that you or the choices that you made put you in extremely terrible situations like you got five kids with no support system and an abusive dude at, at home. I can see why you mourning. But a woman that ain't got no kids or maybe just one kid who just find out that the sexual fantasy and the, 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 that she wanted with men and the relationship is dead. I don't know why she mourning. I don't know why a woman that ain't tied down to, to nothing and maybe just got one kid or maybe uh, spent 10 years with a dude and now she divorced him and she's single and now she finding this. I don't know what she mourning about. You should be happy with your freedom. You should be happy learning that you got the power and learning that the male really is EU. You should be happy about that. You get to pick what side of the fence you want to be on. You get to pick if you want to see sunshine or rain. Right? Why are you still trying to hold males accountable? Why are you still trying to hold males accountable? Because you want to still have sex with them, right? Because you functioning on the lowest frequencies of existence, desire, fear. And somehow you want to hold the male accountable for your desires. You want to hold the male accountable for what you desire. He not responsible because you want to fuck him. That's on you. He's not responsible because you want to fuck him. And if you dumb enough to open your legs just because he cute. And give him his number one biological goal. Knowing that he has a 0% biological cost and investment to sex. Then you, you did that to yourself. He not responsible for that. He not responsible for that. You responsible for your own desires. You responsible for your own choices that result out of those desires. Because the male's biological nature ain't going to change. It is that. Sex will always be his number one priority. He will never have an inter he will never have a biological cost to sex. It don't matter what diseases you come up with. He don't give a fuck about no blue waffles. He don't care about no herpes. He don't care about no HIV. He don't care about none of that. Sex is his biological goal. And if he get one of them things, he's still going to be trying to get six. That's just, that's just the reality. That's just the reality. So I want to know what you want to hold the male accountable for. I 
I want to know what do you want to hold him accountable for? Because all the all of the labor, the house chores and everything that you want him to help you with. He ain't designed to help you with that, baby. The divine ratio is nine to one. It's supposed to be you supposed to be sharing all this with other women. But you hate other women and you think you're supposed to have a man to yourself. No, baby, that's not the way the creator made it. The matriarchy benefits you because it gives you power. The you so concerned about stopping a man from having sex. That's all he get out of it, y'all. Is sex. Sex and ego stroking. And you trying to count his pockets as opposed to counting yours. All he get out of a setup like that would be sex and ego stroking. When you get the power. The only reason that women don't have power in a polygynous setup is because they're male identified and they getting with the patriarchal idealism. Matri polygyny is a matriarchal concept. It is not a patriarchal concept. It is a matriarchal concept. Because one woman cannot overpower one male. So divinely, it was set up to establish a balance between the masculine creating more females in a situation to help govern the few males. Your problem is, is you was male identified and you produced too many males and Y'all hate each other and competing against each other and don't want to work with each other. So you've weakened your own doggone power. You've made yourself vulnerable. You made yourself physically vulnerable due to your belief systems. And you wanting to own some Peter Wacker. You want to own some Peter Wacker. You don't own Peter Wacker. It ain't meant to be owned. It's naturally community pain. And your ass was supposed to be the creator of the community so you could dictate where the peen was at. And then if the peen got out of control, the community would, would give him land consequences. Y'all are totally out of divine order. And you're mad at me for trying to bring you back there. And you can't give me no, not a single logical reason. Not a single one why you trying to keep holding males accountable who are biologically, neurologically incapable of being held so. I don't understand why y'all think we're not supposed to elevate from. The dissentering men talk and start going to responsibility talk. Tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Before we got here, we had to tell you the truth about men. Telling you the truth about men wasn't to try to make them accountable. Telling the truth about men was to let them go and let them self-destruct. The male will self-destruct because he can't lead himself. He's not biologically or neurologically fit to be in an artificial environment. The reason that the male keeps getting caught up in child support situations is because child support is not a biological consequence. It is an artificial sociological consequence. That the male has a way of evading. A lot of these women not even putting these dudes on child support. And if the dude got enough kids, it don't matter if you try to put them on child support. You ain't going to get but $1.26 anyway. If he got 30 kids, you ain't finna get but $1.26 out of child support. So you wasting your damn time. Because biologically, he didn't got his goal. He didn't produce 30 more kids that he ain't got to take care of. Perfect. But I just thought that I would come on here and um, tell y'all the truth today. 
since I'm probably not going to um, be on here Monday. I mean, Friday and Saturday. So, um, let me go ahead and read my super chats. And I'll let y'all call in. This was a quick show. You know, I ain't done a show this, this short in a while. All right, let's go here. All right, so we got uh, Kali Ma, $20. You look great tonight, and your wisdom is eternal. I believe as time goes on, we women will take back our power. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Asia, $200. Thanks, P. You're 100% right. Thank you so much. Powerfully colored, $20. Ooh, we P, you're hot because you are cooking, honey. I turned off everything to listen to this. Let, me, let them feed themselves to the wolves. While you eat keto cake. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Thank you all so much for the support. Let's uh, let's take a couple calls here and uh, we'll call it a night. It's on. Okay, so 832-627-6575. 832-627-6575. Y'all can call the line and tell me if you're one of these ladies that got an issue with what I'm saying or what I put out here, Roni Francois, $5 sticker. Thank you. Give me a call, give me a buzz, and tell me what you have an issue with. Man. I'll get y'all. Unknown caller. Hello, who am I speaking with? Greetings, Priscilla. How you doing? Good. This is Venus. I wanted to know, as far as women who have been with men and the, the sperm that has been scattered across our brain, mm -hmm. how can we overcome that? Or, you know, if you've been, you know, with men or been with several men and the bonding that occurred, due to the sperm you know how do we overcome that well just like um wushu martial artists can walk on glass they can bend their body around trees and um channel their chi energy to punch somebody and send them five feet or ten feet away mind over matter of course you have to do 
you know, spiritual detox and cleanse. But even after you do that, what is it? It's mind over matter. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding will override all that, right? So it's the same way with channeling uh, any type of energy, whether it be anger, frustration. M the Gaining control over the mind can transmute those negative energies into something else. So it's all about the mind. Nothing else is really real. It's really just about how you control everything. The only reason that that even has an impact on you is because you're unconscious. Once you become conscious, you become in control. You are the master. You are the captain. All right. I thought maybe there was some kind of herbal remedy that, um, you know, that um, could help with that. Well, like I say, you can do... You can do any detox you want. It's just, at the end of the day, it's still going to be a mind thing. People are being dug up out of the grave and still showing male DNA. You, you're just not going to be able to just get rid of that DNA. Like, I don't care how many detoxes you do. The thing is, the whole point of the DNA is to control a woman's mind and her behavior in regards to men and her son. What's going to override that is your mentality, your mind. No amount of detoxing is going to stop that. Because you could detox. Let's say you was able to get rid of the, the DNA. Guess what? If you still EU and you don't have no mentality, you're still going to behave in ways that are toxic. Because what's controlled women more so is the philosophies, not the biology. It's the philosophies that have controlled women. So, yeah, somebody in the comments section can give you some detoxes if that's what you want. But at the end of the day, the main thing is the mind. Thank you. No problem. Have a good day. You too. Hello. Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hey, Evie. This is Supreme. How you doing? What you got for me tonight? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm excellent. Okay. I was calling to see, could you please, please, please um, give some book recommendations for emotion, emotional intelligence? Mm -hmm. Just, you know, trying to improve in that area and be able to really respond to situations without uh, emotions, clouding, judgment. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, emotional intelligence is recognizing um, the need for emotion, right? That emotions do have their place, okay? Um, when you get mad and angry, it's all about understanding how you're feeling at the moment, right? And calming down and allowing your mind to take over that. This is a conscious effort. Emotional intelligence is about the consciousness of emotional expression, right? But before, because here's the thing. If you, if the more information you have, the more your mind can change and the more your emotions can change, right? Because you could be mad about something. Right. I like to use um, I like to use the Twin Towers 9-11 as an example. Mm -hmm. There were people who were upset because they was late to work. They was running late. They overslept. Right. Mm. Yeah. And based on that situation and their current knowledge at that point. They had anger, frustration, running late to work, whatever the case may be. Instantly, when they heard the news that the Twin Towers was hit and realized that it was hit, it started in the office that they would have been in if they was on time. Don't their emotions instantly change with new information? Yeah, yeah definitely. So... 
the key to governing the emotions and mastering them is seeking as much information as you can, right, that will help you alter the emotional state. Ain't nothing wrong with being mad, but it is something wrong with being mad on misinformation. It is something wrong with being mad and hitting people, right? Mm-hmm. So em- the first thing about emotional intelligence is understanding how you deal with emotions to begin with. How are you when you get angry? Mm-hmm. And <sighs> what are some of the yeah. ways that you can re- channel your anger, right? I'm the type of person, mm-hmm. I don't like to talk when I'm angry. I get angry too. I'm human. But I definitely don't like to talk when I'm angry because nothing's going to get solved, right? The best time mm-hmm. for me to talk is when I'm not angry, when I've had time to process and think about something because I usually say, I usually try to see if maybe I'm angry for no reason, right? Maybe I'm overreacting or maybe I'm taking things too personally. Sometimes people get upset just because they take something personally that ain't even personal, right? So yeah. emotional intelligence is you have to use your mind. It's, a, it's mm. all a mind thing, no matter how you slice it and dice it. Okay. Okay. That makes all the sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I'm gonna be working on this going forward. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. No problem. Have a great night. All right. You too. Hello. Hello, Prince Ella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Um, you're speaking with Tanisha. How you doing, Tanisha? What you got for me tonight? Um, I just wanted to say that I really enjoyed this call tonight. Um everything about a woman taking her power back is something that I need to hear right now. Um I have trouble with hope that the male collective will sometime, somehow go through a transformation mm-hmm. <laughs> and the ratio of nine to one was something that I've heard for the first time today. Mm-hmm. Um, the 90% and 10% I've heard from another sister um, about 90% of the brain being feminine and 10% being masculine. Mm-hmm. So when I heard the nine and one, per, uh, one nine to one ratio today, I was Kind of a, it took a while to say, okay, yeah, that could be factual. And I'm sure you've done your research, but um, I am putting aside whatever biases I've had about polygyny in order to accept that if I, as a woman who has no children but desire children, I need a community more than I need just one man. Mm -hmm. So I am. thankful for this um um live today um just wanted to say that to you and i'm working on taking my power back wonderful thank you so much i appreciate your call no problem all right all right okay all right so that's all the calls we got for the day unless you want to call in all right if not then I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. Make sure if you in L.A., if you are in Los Angeles, I will be in L.A. this Thursday and Friday. Friday, I'll be doing a lecture presentation at uh, University of Southern California. You can check the description uh, of the video to register and meet me up there Friday if you are in the area and would like to see me. Um, We also have tickets on sale for the conference. 
the conference, um, the Enough Conference, with myself, Nico, Sheree, and Dr. T. It's time for y'all to stop playing victims. A lot of y'all want to be victims. And that's why the High Power Podcast, that's why some of y'all can fall off from over here. Because y'all don't want to be high-powered. You don't want power. You want somebody to stroke your ego and coddle you. I'm not coddling no woman, and I'm not coddling no male. A woman that need to be coddled, she just like the male that she complain about. Right? Birds of a feather flock together. Like attracts like. Y'all deserve each other. Y'all belong to each other. All right? We got somebody from Norway calling. So let me take this call. We got somebody from Norway calling. Hello? Prince Ella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Oh, oh okay, cool. This is amazing. I've been listening to you for like a year. I'm from Norway. Mm-hmm. And, um... So, like, I have so many things to say to you, but exactly this, what you're saying right now, that women have to stop playing victims, because, like, honestly, it's getting old and it's getting boring, and we are the queens of everything, and, like, they just, like, people need to stop being so hurt about everything and realize that we have the power, you know what I mean? And you are preaching exactly that, but for some people, I think it's, like, hard for them to swallow. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if we're going to move forward, we have to own it. Mm -hmm. We have to own it, and we have to realize that, like, we are in the motherfucking power. I'm sorry, I'm maybe not allowed to swear on the channel. It's, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning where I'm at, so Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's literally, like, way past that time. But, like, I like... No, I love the fact that you're able to have the 360 degree view of truth, which for many people is hard because we kind of see things from our perspective and I respect that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we are not victims. We are goddesses and we can control like everything if we so desire. I didn't follow your show tonight. I wasn't, I, 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 unfortunately, I was not able to, I just came in on, like, in the end, so I don't know exactly what you spoke about tonight, but, mm-hmm. like, regardless, I'm not going to spend too much of our time, but anyway, regardless, I have binge-watched your content for literally, like, a year, wow. and, I mean, yeah, like, I really respect your philosophy, it really, I'm a doctor, um, I really... I, I vibe with your philosophy. You are well thought through. You are scientific, but you're also like spiritual. And women need to hear your message and you just need to continue preaching. Um, I, I'm so happy I got to actually speak with you live. I'm actually really honored. So thank you so much. Thank and you. Yeah, that's all. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you, Princess. You are fucking amazing. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Much love, one love always. Awesome. Well, you love have a from good. Viking, no, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Viking, so you know what? You know, equality for. Absolutely. We will see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for we calling. Are... Say thank again. You so much. I could speak. I feel, I feel like I could speak forever. I really feel that way. You know, like I think. Anyway, let me leave. <laughs> no problem. <Thanks> All right. <laughs> thank you so much. I hope you have a great morning. Thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. Hi, Queen. Hello. Who am I speaking with? It's Moochies. Awesome, Smooches. What you got for me tonight? I just want to bring up about the sex thing. It's a lot of women in the chat that are always asking, well, how do I stop 
wanting to have the urge or how do I not want to have sex or what happens. And I just want to say from a personal experience that when you just stop having sex, which I'm, I don't understand why y'all still not tired of having sex with these dudes anyway, but when you stop having sex, it is automatic. Your power resurges itself. Mm -hmm. You will start to feel it and you will start seeing that they do not deserve to touch you mm -hmm. and they're not even worth the time. And that's where it starts. Just stop having sex, ladies. Mm -hmm. Just stop. And I just want to say that because it's like they don't, they really don't know the power of that. It is a power to that. Well, that's because an idle journey. mind is it, it, it's this, it's simple as this. An idle mind is the devil's workshop. A lot of these women don't have nothing else to do. They are broken and they are they are using sex as a coping mechanism. These women don't are not tapped into their creative side. They not write no books. They not playing no instruments. They're not creating value for other women they sitting up there twiddling their thumbs and just slave and doing slave labor they're not tapped into their creativity so the only other way that they can express their creative self is through sex true uh, so these women just don't have it's either they don't have any creative value no talent or they just they're too busy with other stressful things and they're looking for a sexual outlet and validation that th those are the only two things, right? It's gotta mm -hmm. be, you know what I mean? So, um, those they're not women, putting in the work. Yeah. And they're not putting in the work. So it, th there's nothing you can do to help those women. Those women are going to, like I said, I, and I, 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 I say it again. You got slaves, concubines, and queens. Slaves, concubines, and queens. Slaves are owned and controlled by somebody. People are slaves to their desires, right? And desire is, is low on the consciousness totem pole. It's in the ego hell area of consciousness, right? So there's nothing you can do for a woman that don't want to put the work in herself, right? If she's not reading books, she's not studying. It's so many other things to do to take your mind off of sex and everything. If they ain't doing it, they just not doing it. But those women shouldn't be complaining about what men are doing if they are going to take the risk to use sex as an outlet. Correct. And when they stop, ladies, when y'all stop having sex, trust your creative energy. It's going to flow like water. It's going, everything's going to rush to you. What you want to do, your desires, your dreams, all that stuff is going to, you're going to be so focused and sharp. Mm -hmm. A razor won't even be able to fuck with you. Mm -hmm. I consider myself unfuckwittable. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, like, I'm just seasoned. I, I always say that. Like, I, I, I really feel seasoned because I took the time. So I, I I get, you know, a lot about what's going on. And like I always say, you was the last puzzle piece. Because in my head, even after 11 years of not having sex, I still was like, well, I guess I'm just waiting for the one who can, who can be the one. And it's, it's like, you got to work. You got to put in the work. Because that, that, that was a big, big, when I heard you and got on the arc, that was a big old light bulb for me. Because mm -hmm. even after so long, in my head, knowing they don't deserve to touch me, right. I'm not having sex. I still could not pinpoint what to do. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know it was a such thing as decenter decentering men right so when i got that last puzzle piece it just clicked like oh i was already on the right track i just need to work on myself some more right and get clarity so even though like we okay when you say something like compassion i, I want to bring up the compassion thing really quick mm -hmm. i think we all was like what because i looked it up immediately like let me make sure i got the definition 
right. we all was like, wait a minute. But because I'm so neutral in emotions, like, you know, to, to men and I'm on my learning journey, it doesn't throw me through a loop. It's more like, let me find out what the definition is and let me listen some more. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's part of the work. What you don't want to hear or what you thought was something else and you got to get your cognitive dissonance in order. And I think that's what a lot of women struggling with is literally cognitive dissonance and they don't want to say, oh, she right. I was wrong. Let me think about this and let me weigh it. Right. They just blurting out whatever they feel, blurting it out. Fuck a nigga. I ain't. I don't care. You don't have to say all that. If you really don't fuck with them, you don't fuck. I don't fuck with them like that. I, I, I talk to males, but I don't fuck with them like that. So it doesn't bother me to hear have compassion for them because I'm not out here to harm them. But here's, so it's almost automatic when you are in this journey anyway. It, it is because here's the thing. Love is a high frequency. There are five components of love. What I, I walk in love. And let me tell you, what, what people don't understand is you can slay something in a low energy and you can slay something in a high energy, right? You can fight for justice or you can fight for greed, okay? So women think that love and compassion is beds of roses they don't think that there's no warrior and there's no slaying in the energy of love for some reason they got this idea that love is all shoots and ladders bed of roses and cotton candy that you just have to give give they don't understand love right so love has five components understanding appreciation and compassion sacrifice willing i mean to ensure the survival of and willingness to die for number one the number one component of love is to seek first understanding okay understanding will automatically lead you to compassion so now if you're talking about understanding and saying that somebody has compassion compassion your first question would be Compassion for what? Compassion for what? Because you seek to understand. Well, I have sought to understand men. What do I understand about men? That they naturally eat you. That they can't be helped and can't nobody help them. And they've been they've been overbred by the elites on purpose. They've been used as a tool and cast aside and left out to wander around like fucking lost souls, like like demons who can't mm-hmm. who can't get out of hell. So I understand that and I have compassion for the eternal suffering. And guess what that means? The next component is sacrifice. What am I sacrificing? You think I'm sacrificing myself to help somebody that can't be helped, that I understand cannot be helped? Nobody can help him. He can't help himself. Do you really think I'm going to sacrifice myself for no reason and hurt myself trying to go to hell and pull somebody out? Where you get that from? See, the reason why people are mad is because they don't understand these concepts. They are getting mad based on their own feelings about these words, words that they have not studied. If they know, if they know that the author or the person, the speaker here is the author of a book, Five Components of Love, and I keep telling you that I operate off of love, then the wise thing for you to do would be to ask me what I mean instead of getting mad. These women get mad. And once they get mad, they not hearing nothing you say. Right. Because they don't have emotional intelligence. Maybe if they use their brain to get more information, the feeling of anger that they originally had might go away simply because they got more information right compassion don't mean 
participating in sacrificing yourself. Compassion don't mean that. It's several meanings to compassion. And although one is kindness, another one is pity. But they overlooked the pity and only saw the kindness. And that's where we got comprehension mixed up. Because just like uh, of many other words that have many different definitions, right? I mean, many, many definitions, I think I'm saying that right, where you could look up a word and it means this, this, and that, depending on how you deal with it. It's the same with compassion. Okay, you know you don't want to give them extra kindness. You know you don't want to be in their face, but you can't pity them because that is exactly all you can do for them. And that's the kind of compassion I took it as. Like, you can't do anything but pity them. But well, let me say one more thing. On, before you say and, that, before you say okay. that, I wanted to say something okay. about that. Compassion don't mean kindness because compassion is not compassion is not a verb it's not an action verb typically acts of kindness right the definition of compassion is simply sympathetic pity for someone's pain suffering or misfortunes sympathetic pity right and so Mm -hmm. that's the primary definition it is the definition Compassion don't mean kindness, right? And you can pity the fool. Compassion (laughs) and pity are synonymous. So what they are getting caught up on is the connotation, the feeling that the word invokes. They feel that compassion means all this other stuff that it don't mean. Right. You can appreciate something and you can have compassion for it. You have compassion for lost souls that can't save themselves. I felt like women could be saved. I felt like women could be helped. So I actually went to help women. I didn't go to help men. I had compassion for men because they ass can't be helped and they going to burn in hell until they transition to some other hell and get another chance to come out right Mm -hmm. i thought women could be helped but a lot of them can't because they like being in hell and they want the same level of compassion they want me to pity them the way i pity the male well if i pity you the same way if i have compassion for you the same way that means i think you can't be helped either and i think you just as eu as him Fair enough. And the women who can be helped, the women who are here and we see it and we know it, we are the women for the role. Like you said, there's going to be some concubines. There's going to be some slaves. That's just what it is. And the women who get it are the ones who walk the walk. But the fo- well, I just want to say this. Let me get off the line because I know somebody wants to call in. Everybody wants to call in when you're on the line because it's always lit. But um, the 4B, women keep asking about that. And that's just simple because women are like, how do we start the 4B movement out here? Decenter men. Mm-hmm. And the more of us decenter men, the more of us come together. That's just how the women out there did it. They have a stronger uh, community with each other. So it probably looked like they did it in a snap, which, you know, they probably did compared to us out here. But that's it. All they did was collectively decide to leave them bandits be. That's it. That's absolutely right. So that's the 4B USA hashtag Project Blue Balls. Let's get it. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) Well, thank you so much for calling in. All right, Queen. Always a pleasure. See you on the Zoom, baby. Yes, indeed. (laughs) Bye-bye. All right. (laughs) Bye. All right, y'all. Okay. Um, so I, I wish y'all the best. Um, make sure you sign up for the workshop. I mean, not the workshop, but the the conference, Enough Conference. Me, Dr. T, and uh, Nico Cherie will be putting that on for Women's Empowerment. 
And I hope that uh, this information is changing your life and changing how you move in the world. The High Power Podcast is about to elevate the conversations here uh, for those who are still stuck in the other phase and still battling your desires and still trying to make men be something and do something that they ain't designed to do. I wish you well. Uh, peace be unto you. Uh, but we got to go to the next level. So um, I wish y'all a great night and I will see y'all on the next episode. Peace. <laughs>